Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about how AI is revolutionizing HR. And with the proper use of AI in HR, we're basically augmenting the intelligence of the organization and of the people. So let's start with a, um, a question. What do you think is the only constant? I'd love to hear your feedback on the chat. What do you think is the only constant in the world, in life? Some of you that have attended some of our webinars know the answer to that. And I can start to see some of the responses. Change. Change is the only constant. Everything else we're not sure about, but we're sure there's always going to be change. And as we've discussed, and as you've seen in uh, Rachel's session, where the pace of change is accelerating more and more, faster and faster. The big change we've seen recently is that humans were at the top of the intelligence pyramid on Earth, at least. We don't know about it in the universe. But we have, you know, had all of our developments and controlled the world because of our intelligence. And the change that is coming is that we're not going to be the only intelligent beings here. I don't know if it's beings or what we'll call them, but intelligence itself is getting commoditized. And this has big implications on us as humans. Is intelligence really what defines us or is there something else? But at the moment, the way things are happening and evolving, intelligence is getting commoditized. And this is really accelerated about two and a half years ago with the launch of ChatGPT, large language models. And then you had, you know, we thought, okay, maybe language is so predictive, but all creative industries will not be affected. But then we had models that create really amazing images, artworks, music, videos recently. And then we said, okay, maybe all this creative work is simple to do, but it's not gonna be able to think about scientific issues or mathematical issues. And this is what our the latest reasoning models are basically proving that actually all of this is now, all of this intelligence is getting packaged into one AI framework, um, AI model that does the creative part, the reasoning part, and of course the language part. So if intelligence everywhere, what should be prized? Uh, what, you know, are we going to determine uh, or look for when we're, we're trying to identify um, talented people, talented individuals in the organization? And I would argue that the real, at least in the short term, because again, for future, you know, looking further into the future, it's going to be more difficult. But in the short term, we need to augment the intelligence. So the people that are actually harnessing the intelligence that exists through these models are going to be the successful ones. And you could expect that builders, entrepreneurs, scientists that are really leveraging these AI models can really fast forward their intelligence dramatically. And within organizations, we would wanna encourage all employees to really augment their intelligence, make use of, um, you know, uh, and taking their intelligence to the next level through the use of these tools. Now, Jensen, the CEO of NVIDIA, says that the IT department of every company is going to be the HR department of AI agents in the future. And I would prefer to see not IT take over this role, but actually the HR department take over the role and manage um, HR human resources, as well as the AI agents. And because both will be working side by side. And this needs a really big mindset change in HR. Um, human resources as a function needs to adapt to this reality. So let's get some uh, insights. I mean, there's a really good uh, research report that came out in December 24 that looked at uh, some of the labor market effects of general artificial intelligence. I'm going to take you through a few, uh, you know, statistics from it um, that give us some insight in terms of how are people using it. But I encourage you to go through the whole um, document yourselves. 
So the number of days people at work are using generative AI is basically five days a week, most of them. So every day, a lot of the people are using generative AI. So this is great. Um, and a lot of the times they're using it without selling the support or guidance from the organizations, but it's being used. And that's something we've got to realize that people are using it. This is really a striking part. Look at the increase in productivity across the different functions. So you can see here the amount of time it takes to do a typical task uh, with or without generative AI. And you can see the huge improvement across all these different tasks in just using AI. And anyone who's been, you know, playing around with AI, experimenting, has seen these uh, improvements. It's across the board. And then you could also look at when it comes to various disciplines, same thing, huge productivity uh, increase across all of these different disciplines. So the impact isn't, you know, minor, it's, um, it's huge and uh, it's being used really quickly by everyone. Here's another uh, extract from a recent report that Claude, one of the uh, Anthropic, uh, which has the Claude uh, AI model, um, did a research in terms of how are the, how's Claude being used across different tasks and different functions. And it's still limited or, or in the majority is being used by technical computing uh, aspects. Um, and of course, a little bit in arts and writing and uh, education, etc. But you're going to see an increase across all of these different functions and use cases. As we've said uh, in the last week's episode, 2025 is going to be the year of AI agents. The difference with AI agents is that they understand, they can plan, and they can act and improve on their decisions. And this is where we're seeing a lot of tools ready to go now, available for HR. And AI ag agents can augment the whole HR life cycle. And we're not talking about things far out in the future. I'm going to take you through a few examples from current tools we have already built in Potential um, for HR. And this is a great report done by PwC that talks about, you know, HR needs to up the game, be able to manage digital workers in addition to the human workers that they have in their workforce. And this is an essential part. So I want to take you through uh, some of how AI agents are doing, you know, what are AI agents doing across the HR life cycle from talent acquisition to learning and development to the empowerment of people. We're going to go through a few demos of these, but I just want to run through some examples so you get an idea of the tools available today. So you want to start off by hiring, uh, you know, some people, you want to create proper job descriptions with KPIs uh, relevant to your specific uh, job. We have an AI agent that helps you do that. You want to conduct first level um, interviews because you get a lot of interviews and you want to save the time of your valuable resources. We have a voice based um, interviewer that can actually do the interviews, document them, identify the best candidates for human um, interviewers to take forward. You have career guidance for people that want to grow in their career that you can align to the, the career paths inside the organizations and you know people can be better aligned in terms of the learning and development along those lines. You could use uh, performance um, management coaches to help people put set proper KPIs aligned to the strategy of the organization uh, and then be able to work towards those. So helping people craft uh, these great uh, KPIs um, for themselves. Um, you want to provide learning and development. You could actually create whole courses now um, tailored to specific job levels or products that you're launching or releasing, you know, through our AI course generator agent. And you could basically have uh, personal tutors that can be specialized uh, uh, on specific material that you have internally on the organization or general topics and have them provided on one on one basis to to people. And coaching is something that can be done across the board where we had the limits previously about one on one, you know, coaches not being able to scale. Now you have the opportunity of 
uh, creating an AI coach clone of every one of your coaches that actually has a 24 by seven support uh, mentor and coach available to their employees, um, trained on their methodology, on the standards. So these are all tools that are available right now. According to uh, BCG report, companies that are adopting AI now can have huge, immense value and we really encourage the HR departments to take a, you know, um, a more proactive role in this and go ahead and start adopting AI, augmenting the intelligence of your workforce. And you will see amazing returns and everyone's going to be satisfied and happy with the results. So that's it from my side for now. I'm going to pass it on to Emma, who's going to take you through some of these demos so you see them live.